Yeah, see how as we walk around here, I'm exaggerating it, but if you look at my body and my shoulders and my calves and the tips of my toes and my chin and my right shoulder blade, my left pinky toe, see how I'm actively riding the horse, right? Now watch right here. We ride, we ride. My legs are on him, but they're not in him, if that makes sense. We're just, we've got some contact. See how we have like, we're not holding on his face, but we're right at the edge of connection with contact with his face. Okay, so if you look at my hand in dressage, they call this a passive hand. See how the hand is actively, rhythmically very passive. Forward, 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 right? Okay, so I showed you all of that to show you this. If you're not always riding when you want to go, you'll never be able to simply quit riding and the horse just stop. You see how I didn't have to stop him at the front? I just quit making him go. Okay, so anytime you're wanting a horse to go, you should be actively riding them. So watch here. I can, I can just, horses can't read your mind, but when you have a thought, there will be a change in your body that you will not even realize that you had, but the horse will feel it. So this can get to be where it's like in about five seconds from now, I'm going to think, Hey, I want you to liven up your walk and pick up a little, pick up a little life in your stride. One, two, three. I'm going to ask him to liven up. He didn't. Here comes a little bit of leg on him. Watch his feet. There, see how we can, there, see how we can liven up that walk? Then watch here. We're just going to start to reach for those feet, and we're going to see if we can get those feet to find a slow walk. Now we're going to open the front door and reach, and when we reach, he should just go. He should be light enough to a leg to where when we reach for those feet, they just come to life. Reach for those feet and it go and it just goes real, real freed up, right? Okay, so we're going to see if we can get him to really extend his stride here and really liven up the trot. There, see the extension in the trot right there? See how we can just put life right down to those feet? And then same deal here. You look how I'm actively riding him up, up. See how my, you see how my body is up and forward. Like the biggest thing I'm trying to not do right now is ride him like a sack of potatoes. We're up. We're alive. We're alive. Okay. Remember earlier we said you just quit riding. We ride. We ride. We ride. We ride. We ride. We quit riding. That's what that develops into. You noticed it wasn't a, we don't say the S word, S-T-O-P. And, and unless, unless you're just working a cow and you're in a really slow lope, you don't ever think the S word. You think downward transition. You guys see how he, he kind of pedaled down into it. So when you think, S, think, slow down, and slow down with balance. See how there was no pushing into the hand, he didn't dump onto the front, everything. It's kind of like, uh, like a speedboat when you have power from behind and the resistance of the water. It's this effect. That's what you're trying to think of and ride like when you want a horse to slow down. Hey, if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can become a Carson James Insider. All the info is in the link below, completely free. We send you all this awesome stuff. All the details are right here. Go check that out. You are going to absolutely love it. We'll see you later.